Hi, welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide, and in this review, we'll be looking at another brand new product from Dyson, the Omni Glide. Nearly all vacuums go in four different directions forward, backward, left, and right. The Omni Glide aims to break the mold with an industry first multi directional soft roller attachment that Dyson claims to be the most maneuverable. When I first saw this, I was intrigued and bought one to test, which I did for the past few days, and I'll share with you both the good and bad later on. But first, let's go through the features. One unique aspect of the Dyson Omni is the omnidirectional cleaning head that features two rollers. Twin brush designs aren't new in the cordless vacuum industry with brands like Shark and Loop using a soft roller and standard brush roll on their products. But Dyson is the first I've seen to use a pair of soft rollers and it has a functional purpose. The goal for this tool is not just to steer in four directions but also to have the capability to glide from side to side and rotate 360 degrees, breaking the mold of how vacuum cleaners steer. Underneath the Omni tool are four wheels that rotate 360 degrees independently, enabling it to turn and rotate effortlessly around furniture. This is the only vacuum I've tested that can clean from side to side thanks to its unique steering design and dual roller system. The narrow cleaning head enables it to clean in tight quarters even better than a slim attachment and the V8 fluffy tool. Dyson also ditched the trigger with this model and replaced it with two buttons for the default and max settings. Using buttons instead of a trigger reduces finger and arm fatigue cleaning floors. Handle weight is light compared to a trigger-equipped Dyson since you can literally hold it like a broom and sweep the floor from side to side. The only difference is you're sweeping with a vacuum. Despite the slim frame, the Omni retains the Cyclones, although at a smaller scale with only 8. The dustbin is much smaller but still has a hygienic system, which is one of my favorite designs since I don't have to touch nasty dirt. Behind the motor is a high-efficiency filter that Dyson claims help trap 99.99% .99 of particles down to 0.03 microns. And that seems to be the case as it didn't have any visible leaks during the fog test. The filter looks similar to the V11 and V15 filters but at a smaller scale. This thick vacuum morphs into a handheld and it comes with one attachment out of the box, a 2-in-1 crevice and brush tool. But please note that the Dyson V-series tools won't fit on the Omni since it has a smaller connector. Airflow is at the low end with up to 23.71 CFM at the default setting and 31.94 CFM at the max. Certainly not at the level of the V10 or V11 variants, but the good news is soft roller tools don't rely so much on airflow to pick up debris. After testing this vacuum extensively, these are the things I like and I'll start with maneuverability. The Dyson Omni is the best steering stick vacuum I've tested. Its ability to turn is unparalleled. The 360 degree steering plus the ability to go side to side is a joy to use. It's almost similar to using an old broom but it's a vacuum cleaner. Users will benefit the most from this cleaning underneath furniture. The slim design plus the side to side movement easily make this the best vacuum for cleaning underneath low clearance furniture. The Shark Vertex Cordless, which I tested a few weeks back, was the only other vacuum I've reviewed to clean under this sofa, but it doesn't steer as well as the Omni. Cleaning stairs is another benefit from the Omni's side-to-side -side movement, making this task more efficient. The narrow cleaning head is another pro since it fits tight areas better than the slim attachment. Add the 360-degree steering and it effortlessly glides around obstacles. Cleaning performance is excellent, with the Omni tool picking up a high percentage on hard floors. It tackled nearly every debris type with ease. The dual roller system plus the 360-degree steering enables it to clean in all directions. But when I tried it on carpet, these rollers won't spin since it doesn't have enough torque. When you pull out the rollers, you'll notice only a single motor drives it, with gears turning the second roller. So this is strictly a hard floor vacuum. Dyson also put in a detachable battery, which is a big deal since the Omni's runtime is short. This enables consumers to double the runtime by purchasing an extra battery. And the option to charge the battery without it attached to the vacuum adds to the practicality aspect so users can vacuum while the second battery is charging. The push button switch is a departure from the trigger Dyson used in the V-series. I'm guessing it's a necessity due to the handle design being straight. It's a plus for this vacuum since there's no need to squeeze the trigger. Retaining the hygienic system is another pro. It's essential in my opinion since the small dustbin capacity means you'll have to empty it often. This is a perfect segue to the things I don't like and I'll begin with a small dustbin container which is only 0.05 gallons or 0.18 liters at a fill line. Its handheld-like capacity won't hold much dirt, so expect frequent trips to the trash bin. Runtime is short, around 23 minutes at the default setting, 
and 8 minutes at the max with the Omni tool attached. One reason is the smaller size battery that Dyson had to use to fit in the narrow handle. The battery's detachability does help alleviate this limitation by an extra to double the runtime, charging the spare while using the vacuum. While the dual roller Omni nozzle is excellent at debris pickup, it doesn't handle hair well. I tested it on these 5 inch strands and most of it wrapped on the axles, which can be tedious to remove. And I wouldn't recommend this for pet owners. The handheld configuration isn't ideal for above the floor use. The long handle and body make it ergonomically challenging to clean upholstery, but it does excel at cleaning narrow spaces due to the long thin frame and the extended nature of the attachment. However, it only comes with this combo crevice and brush attachment which limits the areas it can clean. Lastly, despite the low airflow and suction, this vacuum is noisy, reaching the 70 decibel mark on both settings. Overall, I'm impressed by the new Dyson Omni, especially how easily it turns around furniture. The multi-directional steering is a potential game changer in my opinion and is perfect inside small homes with many cramped spaces. It does have its flaws like the inability to clean carpet and the hair wrap issues, but it's still an excellent option inside homes with only hard surfaces without pets. The small dustbin is another limitation, but it's a trade-off you'll have to make to enjoy the multi-directional capability of this vacuum. Let me know what you think about the Dyson Omni in the comment section and if you have any questions. Links are in the description for more information. If this video has been helpful to you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for future reviews like this and I have a bunch lined up. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.